God bless you everybody at the sound of my voice. I want you to find something to write down to this message and tag your friend. Share this message with others. Your life will not be the same again. I promise you by the authority of the Word of God. Today's message is called how to live a victorious life. This is part one. How to live a victorious life. Hallelujah. Having said that, let us go to the presence of God in prayer. Father, we want to thank you for the privilege of preaching your precious word to your precious people. The word of God said the entrance of this word gives light. I pray that the light of the gospel will penetrate home and family and their life will not be the same again. In Jesus' name, amen. And amen. You are welcome to do this message. How to live a victorious life. This is part one. Now, before we answer that question, because that is the question of our place in Christ. That is the question of our place in Christ. But we need to ask ourselves another question. How did you see yourself? How did you see yourself? It's very important. This is a question of perception. This is the question of perfection. perception. You know why? Because thoughts stem from perception. Thoughts stem from perception. And listening and habit stems from thought and character stems from habit. Very important. So before we can know how to live a victorious life in Christ, we have to answer the question, how do I see myself in Christ? Listen to what the Bible says in the book of 2 Corinthians. Listen, I'm reading verse chapter 2, verse 14. 2 Corinthians 2, 14 says, I'm reading the Amplified Bible. It said, Thanks be to God. Say that with me. Thanks be to God. Who in Christ? Listen, that's the question of your place. Who in Christ always lead us in triumph as trophy of Christ. Hallelujah. As a trophy of Christ's victory. And through all spread and make evidence the fragrance of the knowledge of God everywhere. Glory be to God. You see, you live in Christ. You live victoriously in Christ everywhere you find yourself. So the question is, before we know how to live in Christ, we have to know how we see ourselves in Christ. How you see ourselves in Christ. That's a question of perception. Listen to this. Right Perception lead to victory, from victory unto victory, according to this word. Everywhere you go, you have victory. You cannot be denied. Say that. I cannot be denied. Say it again. I cannot be denied. I mean that. I mean that. So right perception lead to victory. And wrong perception 
lead to failure. And failure is not your portion. Say that with me. Failure is not my portion. Failure is not the portion of your family. Hallelujah. Listen. Did you see yourself in the flesh? Or you see yourself in the spirit? That's the question we want to answer ourselves. Your victory is not in anybody's hand. I'm telling you. Did you see yourself in the flesh? Or you see yourself in the spirit? Listen, you cannot do both. It's either you see yourself in the flesh or you see yourself in the spirit. It depends. Listen to this. Jesus says something in John chapter 3, verse 6. John chapter 3, verse 6. Jesus said that which is born of the flesh is flesh. In other words, if you are born naturally, you are natural. Listen, no matter how far you go. But he said, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Are you listening to me? It's spirit. We have a class, we call it the school of revelation. In that school of revelation, we, we teach people who am I? Or where am I here? Very important. You can sign in that class. Just email me. You have one week to sign in. I taught that in that class. Listen. No matter who you are, poor or rich, black or white, listen, how you see yourself, you always have negative or positive Impact. Telling you. They may be set to, set back in your life, but when you see yourself in the spirit, you see yourself the way God sees you, you can never be denied. It's impossible. Let me tell you some story. Years back, when we are looking for monkeys of our church, church of God, to go with that glory. Four banks denying me. Four banks. But I realized I did not see myself in the flesh. So therefore I know in my spirit I cannot be denied. I don't know what you're going to now. You cannot be denied. You need healing. It's in Christ. You need power. It's in Christ. Are you listening to me? You cannot be denied. It's impossible. But you have to have the right perception of yourself. Listen to me. Four banks denied us. And I keep going. I keep going. Until the bank say yes. <laughs> I say yes to your healing. Say that yes to my healing. I say yes to your victory. Say that yes to my victory. In Christ, you have to find who you are in Christ. Do not see yourself in the flesh. Then you are male or female. That is fat concerning your gender. If you are black or white, that is fat concerning your race. If you are poor or rich, married or single, that is fat concerning your status. But faith is how you see yourself in the spirit. And that is where the victory is. I'm telling you, you cannot be denied. Either you are in the village or you are in the city. You are under the canopy of blessing and canopy of victory. Listen, I'm reading from the book of Numbers 13. Look at verse 2 of Numbers 13. Verse 2 says, 
Send thou men that they may sight the land of Canaan, which I have given to the children of Israel, every tribe of their father. God told Moses to send men to go and sight the land of Israel, that has God said, I have given them that land. God Almighty, that brought them from the slave market. The Egyptians enslaved them for 430 years. God brought them out in order to take them in. But say, where you are going, I have given that to you. But look at what happened to their perception. So wrong perception will lead you to failure and that is not my portion. Say, failure is not my portion. Say that failure is not my portion. Look at verse 33 of Numbers 13. Verse 33 says, And there we saw the giants, listen to me, the sons of Anna, which come of the giant, and we were in our own sight as grasshopper. And so we are in their side. Listen, it doesn't matter what people think about you. What do you think about yourself? You say, we are grasshopper in our own side. You can't go there. Do you know what God says in Numbers 14, verse 28? In Numbers 14, 28, God says, as you are saying, my ear, so I will do. How do you see yourself? And all of them perish in the wilderness. We are living the life of hatred everywhere. Racism everywhere. Division everywhere. Tribalism everywhere. But doesn't matter. Your God is almighty. You have to see yourself in the spirit above those things. Listen to me. Are you listening to me? How you see yourself? Before you can live a victorious life, you have to see yourself the way God sees you. I take you further. In 1 Samuel chapter 17, this is the story where the, all Israel were f- afraid of Goliath. So nobody can face this Goliath. Nine feet tall, over 300 pounds Wait. He was a this thing he was a warrior from his youth, never lost any battle. And he challenged the people of God. Say, Who is he among you? You saw you saw Saul to come to me. Listen to what David says. How do you see yourself? Do you have a bad news from doctors? <laughs> Listen to me. Do you have a bad news concerning your finance? See yourself in Christ above it all. Bible says he that has born from above is above them all. John 3 31. You born from the Spirit. You are above it all. You see yourself naturally. You see yourself little. You see yourself stopped by enemy. But the moment you see yourself the way God sees you, you are above it all. Say, I'm above them all. Do you know, I don't pray that, oh God, eh, key devil, oh God, don't let that step. No devil can stop you when you see yourself in Christ. Listen to what David said in First Samuel 17. Listen to what David said. Hallelujah. It's very important. The way you see yourself. David said, who is this of star concept listening? Who is this? In verse 47 of 1 Samuel 17, he said, said, this battle is not our, it's of the law. All the Israelites and see themselves as army of Saul. But this is David say, I'm the army of the, he said, I belong to army of the law. He said, this battle is of the Lord. Did you see that that disease is not against you? That demon is not against you. It's against God. And anything that's against God has become history. 
perception, see yourself the way God sees you. Listen, as I said, perceptions precede thoughts, and thought precede action, and action precede habit, and habit precede character. How do you see yourself? You know, in, the, in part two, I will tell you, you can even see yourself right, but you may build your foundation on sand. That's a sound foundation of self-effort. I'm, I'm in Christ because of this. No. I will teach you a lesson too. But it's very important for you to see yourself in the spirit. Listen, when Jesus entered into his own city, Nazareth, it could not do many miracles there because then see Jesus as just capital son. Listen to what Bible says in Mark 6 3. Mark 6 3. Is it not this capital? Is it not the capitals? The son of Mary? The brother of James and Joseph and of Judah and Simon? Are not the sisters here with us? And they were offended of him. It was not offended by them, but they were offended of him. They could not receive from Christ. He moved to the next area. Jesus knew who he was. No matter what people throw at you, as long as you know you are in Christ, victory. Don't just get saved and wait for rapture. You get saved to live a victorious life, to bring others. And look at the sectorion. Sectorion. Sectorion see Jesus. Look at what he says. In Matthew 8, verse 8. Matthew 8, verse 8. The centurion answered and said, Lord, listen, I'm not worthy that thou should come under my roof, but you speak the word only, and my servant shall be healed. He said, You are powerful over disease. It doesn't matter the space, it doesn't matter the distance, it doesn't matter the color, it doesn't matter the tribe. If you see yourself the way God sees you in Christ, victory is yours. How do you live a victorious life in Christ? The answer to that is how you see yourself. How do you see yourself in Christ? Did you see yourself? Do, I'm just human. You know, people say, I'm just human. Listen, if you say you are just human, that may be right. But that is incomplete. You are human, but you are not just human. Two-thirds of yourself is Christ. You have the mind of Christ. You are the spirit of Christ. If you are born again, you are victorious. The way you are just you are flesh, your flesh may be pink or black or brown. It doesn't matter. Victory. I will read it again. In 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14, 2 Corinthians 2, 14 says, I'm reading the Amplified Bible, it says, Thanks be to God, who in Christ, find who you are in Christ, who in Christ always lead us triumph as trophy of Christ's victory and through us spread. And make evident the fragrance of knowing of God everywhere. Anywhere you are. Asia, Europe, South and North America, Africa, the island. Anywhere you are. When you see yourself in Christ, yeah, yeah, you begin to walk in victory. You begin, to, you begin to bring souls into the kingdom. Bring souls into the kingdom. Because you know you are. Listen. Next session, next week Friday, I will tell you some people see themselves in Christ, but yet they build on self effort. God is going to do it because I know how to pray, and God is going to do it because I fast. No, no, no. It does not base on your effort, it based on what Jesus Christ has done. Your job is to enforce that victory. 
I'm going to teach you that next Friday, week from today, how to live a victorious life, part two. But listen, listen to me. The school of revelation, school of revelation knowledge going on once a week, every Wednesday, 10 30. You can still register. We have one week to register. The school has started already. Revelation knowledge, school of revelation knowledge. Just email me, revpofaculi at gmail.com. You can see that on the screen. I will send you the information and the link to get the first one in case you miss it. For those of you who are in that school already, your first homework is due tomorrow. You send it in for your credit. Hallelujah. God is preparing people for the last day harvest. He said, I will pour my spirit to our flesh, man. And female, they will prophesy. Woo! Glory be to God. And so I listen to me. Victory is yours. Say that victory is mine. Victory belongs to my family. Victory everywhere I go. Amen. I will see you on Monday. I see you on Monday. Join that school. The school of Revelation knowledge. Two kinds of knowledge. Natural knowledge through our five senses. You can't know God or that. But the other one, revelation knowledge through our spirit. Let me teach you how to walk in victorious life. And being there, being there, as I said before, banks, four banks deny us in our a monkey for a church. But because I know I am in Christ, I don't take no for my answer. He that is born of the Spirit above them all. At last, the bank say, yes. Your victory is yes. The power of God in your life is yes. Everything concerning you is yes in Christ. Find out. Spread this gospel. Let me pray for you, Father. Thank you. For your victory that you are giving to us in Christ. Jesus died and he arose for our victory so we can live a victorious life. Everyone has heard my voice now. I pray for your healing, for your victory over demon, over disease, over sicknesses. Satan, I ban you loose a host. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. If you are not saved, say, Lord Jesus, Come into my life and be my Lord. Amen. Want to share this message with your friend, with your colleague? Let's spread the gospel of Jesus all over the world. And on Sunday, make sure you go to Bible Believing Church, where your new life creation is going to be taught. And if you're anywhere in Rhode Island, our church is 1525 Broad Street in Cranston, Rhode Island. God's family show. Our services there is 9.30 every Sunday. Come and join the group of winners. I see you on Monday, the same time, the same place. God bless you. It's my prayer. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you.